nice to meet both of you. Tell me about your fibroid experience. I had some problem with constipation, and so we ended up from the urgent care, they recommended to go to the emergency room, went to the emergency room, and they did a CT scan, and they did an ultrasound, vaginal ultrasound. And at the end, they said there was a fibroid. Right. And a big the, fibroid. <laughs> a big fibroid, <laughs> right. Yeah. And that I should go and check up with my OBGYN. The problem is I was visiting Dallas to see my daughter, and at 79, I don't have an OBGYN. Right. My daughter found Dr. Slonem and uh, said maybe this would be the good way to go and work with your fibroid. Mm -hmm. So we came to Dr. Slonem and uh, she very quickly explained at my age the procedure was not really meant for people at my age. Mm -hmm. But she could have dismissed us but she took us into her office and she took the time to explain what the CT scan, uh, scan actually showed in the ultrasound. Okay. And at that point, there was a chance that it could be sarcoma. She couldn't really rule it out. And she said an MRI would really be very good to go and have. And she arranged it on the same day that I could go just next door and have an MRI. That's great. The next morning, she called me, and she had consulted already with four people, and to tell me that it actually looks pretty good, and it there wasn't any sign for sarcoma. When she referred me to an OBGYN, uh, Dr. Heffernan, mm -hmm. and it was great. He had all the information that he needed so that we could go on. We ended up with a hysterectomy. I had the hysterectomy, and it worked out real well, and I have recovered very well, and I'm feeling very good. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm forever grateful to Dr. Slonem because she took the time and she cared enough and that she did that for me because it really was like a wonder that everything opened up for me and I could be taken care of. So I really want to thank her very much. It was unexpected. I think the my mother's fibroid experience was unexpected. She had had, you had had fibroids in your 40s, right? Right. Even after the ER visit, uh, things had gone sort of un, un, unspoken and there was, we didn't unresolved. know. Un, unresolved. You didn't, unresolved. You didn't yeah. really know what to, what to do. You were yeah. just kind of there. Now, did so, you ever have fibroid surgery back in your 40s? No, I kind of avoided it at, okay. that, ti at that time. And in the, I, I had bleeding with fibroid. Right. And, but I avoided it at that time. And then when I went through the menopause, it stopped. Okay. And so, probably I had some symptoms. I, I always need to go and look for a bathroom. And everybody knows that. And my uterus that was removed was actually very enlarged. Um, from your perspective, being a daughter. Yes. Oh, I mean, I was so, we were so concerned because even the early visit to the ER, and, right. and I have to say my mother came and helped me take care of my husband when he was going through, through uh, cancer treatments. Oh. And so we kind of know what good doctors are, and uh, I was yeah. really, I, I'm really picky about doctors in general and also healthcare. So I wanted her to have the best. And so when this was sort of unresolved, I did some research and I found that by, you know, it's absolutely clear that Dr. Solonen is the very best in the DFW area. Right. And um, the website, everything was so welcoming. I also love, it's obvious that she cares about uh, women's health care and all, at all ages. And so I expected her to be good, but I, we never expected her to be so phenomenal. The care she yeah, showed, absolutely. the way she took us yeah, in, took sat down, took the time, said, this is what this is. Yeah. And uh, really said, and, and, and was very honest with us and said, there might be reason for concern, but let's get this figured out as soon as possible. And that sort of, sort of depth of care, and it was already late in the evening, it was probably after hours, and just uh, making, uh, making it possible for my mother to get an MRI the very same day. Um, she, she had, something had happened because they didn't expect us. So when we got there, they said, no, you cannot get one. And suddenly then, we it was one. as if the, <laughs> the <laughs> gates <laughs> opened and uh, we were able to, to get it done. And I think it was, you know, it was a real concern because my, my mother is now at the age when her mother passed away. And so oh, this is cancer. a sense of, exactly. of cancer. So we, we talked about that this might be cancer and what that means. And so um, I never expected Dr. Sloan, I mean, left her personal cell phone number, followed uh, up the next yeah, day, absolutely. had already consulted with four specialists in the area. 
um, asked us, you know, which are our preferences. So we chose Dr. Heffernan because he's an OBGYN oncologist. He was absolutely lovely. He already knew everything about it because apparently Dr. Slonim had already informed him. So, I mean, we, we could, it couldn't have gone any better. Yeah.